Really just, uh, who are you? <laughs> uh, I'm Jordan Howerson. I'm 26 years old from North Carolina. I am a female bull rider. So my name is Glyve. I'm from Nebraska. I just started interning here a couple months ago. It's been fun. I have seen a lot of bull rides so far. I've been riding bulls for about nine, going on 10 years. I started back, I got on my first one in 2012, and I've been riding ever since. Been kind of going back and forth on some injuries, so consistently, it's probably been about half of that, but all in all, about nine years. Everybody seems to, around me just seems to love it, so <laughs> it looks really cool and fun. I mean, you can get hurt, like I, there's a lot of risk involved. Worst injury I've had was a grade five lacerated liver, which almost killed me. But, you know, I've had broken bones, you know, broken ribs countless times, broke both my arms, um, broke my jaw twice. I think if girls want to ride bulls, they need to give it 110%. Like, I don't think girls just need to be riding bulls and not trying. Like, I think you need to be hardcore about trying to ride bulls. Like, don't just, get on every now and then because you're just going to set yourself up for failure, you're going to hurt yourself, and then you're going to make it hard for the girls that do want to go and ride bulls because there's been plenty of times I've gone places where like they're like, no, girls can't ride, and that was just merely because they had a girl come in there, try to ride for attention, and got hurt, and therefore they didn't allow any other girls, even the ones that put the time and the effort in, they wouldn't let them ride. Go out there, try it. We all have a bucket list. Like, go and try to ride a bull. But if you do co decide to do it, like, fully commit. I want to get on at least one first and then, like, see what it's about. Because if I get on more than one, then it's like, oh, man. <laughs> but it's like, I'm around it. And even before I came here, I was interested in it. So, so first things first is, like, we're going to use a flank rope on this barrel. Yeah. because you don't want to use your bull rope on here because it can teach you bad habits and also because you'd have to make it so small it'll it'll run down your legs and cause bruising and stuff just unnecessary unnecessary bruising because this is going to work just fine because really when you use this tool you know you're just working on your form so i'm gonna tighten this up and like you're gonna want your pinky to line up with this the bull's backbone like that's Depending and then depending on how long your arms is arms are, you're gonna want to like maybe scoot it over a little bit if you've got really long arms. Scoot it, make sure it's really center. If you got short arms, it's just gonna be preference. This is just kind of over your head right now, but for now we're just gonna work on like keeping it lined up with his backbone. So I'm just gonna run it through my hand one time because I hate getting on a barrel like this. And then ideally, you're gonna want to get all the way up on your rope. And you see how I've got a bend in my arm and my feet are in front of my rope. So like, think about when a bull has all four feet on the ground, you wanna be in a very neutral position. So if his, all four of his feet are on the ground, I'm gonna kinda of be almost sitting up, straight up and down. Because if he goes forward, then if he rears, then I can go to the front, but then if he kicks, like I can set my hips. Just keep it still for now, please, Willie. And you always Sorry. want to be forward, or? Well, you're you're kind of always chasing the front end on a bull because when you drive to the front, when they when they're rearing, when they come up in the front end, you want to get out over them because it takes all the power away from them. And then when they kick is when you set your hips and kind of like get everything back to your bull rope. You want everything to kind of be lined up, and when that bull, can you put it in a rare position? Rare. That's a kick. So when a bull rears, you're going to want to get up on your legs and squeeze your legs and kind of bow your chest and get up off your pockets. And then when that bull kicks, you're going to pull yourself to your bull rope and set your hips. You're not going to lean back. You're not going to take your free arm. Or you're not going to throw it way back. You're just going to meet the kick. So your legs don't move. Well, you're going to kind of move them forward when they kick. No matter if a bull is spinning, no matter what he's doing, he's going to rear and he's going to kick. Bulls only make two moves, whether they're going left or they're going right, they're rearing and they're kicking. So that's what this is teaching us how to counteract. Like the, these are the tools that we like slow ourselves down on to teach our bodies to react. Because when you go out there, you're like, you're not going to be thinking about it. It's like all got to be a reaction. So I'm going to have Willie run through it. Kind of like 
like as if a bull's bucking. You're like kind of up on your rope. Yeah. And I've kind of got my hips a little roll forward, so I'm not like sitting down like this. Yeah. You don't want to have a seat in your back because then that takes all the weight off your legs and you're, then you're gonna buck off. But yes. you kind of want to be up. I've kind of, I'm up off my pockets, got my heels in them, and I'm gonna nod. When you're on this thing, it's really important to make small moves because if you get on, because the bull's gonna give you motion, like he's gonna give you that motion. So we're just trying to teach our body to stay nice and small. So that way, like, it's just a reaction. If your arm gets blown out here, the muscle memory is like, no, it needs to be back here. And you'll just do it automatically. Like, that's what we're trying to teach ourselves. Like, we're trying to teach ourselves the, to get to home base every time. So, are you right hand dominant or left hand dominant? I don't know. How do you know if you are? So, I've tried both. I was always told that you want to ride with your non-dominant hand because if you go to throw a punch at someone, which hand is it going to be first? Like, who are you going to punch with? Right. The right. It's just, the, it's the dominant one, so it's just the faster reacting one. That's just what I've been told. So, I've kind of like, and then once you pick one, like go with it don't don't switch it up you can't it's hard to be going back and forth especially like to teach your body like the different you know away from your hand or into your hand like you'll just confuse yourself if you keep going back and forth on it yeah but if you want to try left-handed on this and like you feel weird we can switch it on this before you decide which one you're going to actually well, i don't think you're teaching her right what i think you're missing something Alright, you're gonna have to get a hold with that inside hook. Put your arm up here, make a peace sign, and then you're gonna go like this and keep it with your arms, alright? You know, like so you get a hold with your inside hook. <laughs> really, really use that free arm. Oh yeah, I really can't do this. Alright, so just leave your free arm right here. Don't move it like don't try to swing it back. Just Should you always right. see it? I mean, not always, but for the time being, yeah, because we're just working on the rear and kick and yeah. like if you get to using your free arm too much on the barrel you know like that bull's going to give you that momentum like he's going to try to get your arm back so we're teaching it to to want to go back here and stay here so that's why we do small moves on this like we don't want to move our free arm too much mm -hmm. because that bull is going to give you that momentum when you're actually riding them yeah so you want to practice you know like that way if you do open up your arm muscle memory is going to tell you no get back to over here so you don't you just do it without thinking yeah all right, go up in the front. You're moving your free arm, but it's I okay. am. <laughs> All right, now kick. Squeeze those legs. Wrap those legs around it. There you go. All right, now do it slow in a rhythm. Don't get too dramatic with your free arm. <laughs> That's like everyone's biggest thing. They're kind of leaning over free arm? I'm leaning. You want to sit. You want to be centered. There you go. Yep. There you go. You just up and down. Just you know, rare and kick. Okay. And we'll watch here the whole time. You don't have to be that far forward. Your ribs. Come big down. Watch it go. What would have left you? So I would have been bucked off then. Yep. Looks pretty good. Um, so continuation of we have young lady getting on a bull today. Um, Blythe is Blythe is getting on uh, Carlos, the man of love. Are are you? Yeah. You're getting on today. He's not getting. I got a mouth guard and not that. Not that Carlos. He's loaded up. Not Carlos, that. the man of love, is different than Carlos, the intern. So. But before we do that, we're going to buck a few uh, bulls. C Carson's getting on Frostbite. Carlos getting on Prison Mike. And then uh, for the grand finale. What you guys, what you guys doing over there? We're celebrating there? Cole. He's been here for a week, and he's headed home tomorrow. You suck. You're going home so early. He, got, he doesn't have a return flight. I'll be back. We...
We had one. We had two interns stay two weeks. That's the shortest amount of time interns have stayed until now. I'm definitely coming back. I just it's Christmas time. Hey, I understand you're going home. Yeah. It's just the fact that you don't have a flight booked back. It's a, that's a, my only nerve. I, Other interns are nervous. This intern said that he's it? moving to my house. Tonight. Well, I was going the next day. my brother day. wants to drive like road trip That makes back. sense. That makes sense. So I'm starting to believe. Don't break our hearts, Cole. See you next week, folks. Hearts already broken. Oh, Cole. You're dead. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right? Yeah, I'm good. For real. Poor guy. Almost got got. Look tough. That's good, right? You look really good. Get over there, get over there. <laughs> Can you find the blue if you started talking? <laughs> he said I only stayed on because of you. I heard your voice. Gabriel <laughs> was... said like an angel in his shoulder. He hipped himself and it was like bad to the bone. He just like stacked up for two jumps. That looked fun. You feel it? <laughs> you wanna if you'd have bucked off, you gotta re-ride. A thousand percent. The worst judge in the world would have seen it and given you a re-ride because like he threw his butt around. It just it just stops him. It's, and there's it's such a sudden stop that it sends you yeah, off. That. But you were you were just right in the dang middle, and you came around and just and then he just jumped in two spots like Margie Tom. <laughs> Not like Margie Tom, but just. <laughs> I anticipated too far this way. Yeah. Like too fast. Because I was like, I'm going to get off the left side. And then I was like, ooh, uh, it's getting off the left side. And it was like half a second before I, I just got off right at the gate. You mean, when you say you get off on the left side, you mean like you're going to leave to the you left? leave to the left. But yeah, I like, like fell over to the left. Wait, are you talking about your dismount? <laughs> yeah. You were already working on it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay I'm going to go up to the left. Because I thought he was going to run straight. Oh, you're saying then, like you had already had, in your mind you had already ridden him. Like yeah. You were like, I'm gonna ride him. <laughs> I was like, okay. I'm and gonna ride him eight left. seconds, and then one, and don't forget to get off on the left. Yeah, and then I was like, oh wait, wait, we left. Now I'm already getting off uh, on the yeah. left. Yeah. So we'll focus on the ride first. Yeah. Next and time. then the dismount. Then get off. Yeah. Dismount. You just you did it backwards. Yeah. You did the dismount first. Yeah. That's, That's all that was. That was a classic mix-up. <laughs> classic mix-up. <laughs> You did the dismount first. What uh, what's how's your heart rate racing like? It's good. I want to ride him again. You want to try one more time? Can I? Yeah, we. Yeah, I, I don't think he's tired. Okay. Now she's a bull rider, and uh, it's just time to perfect it. She's already been on one, so now it's time for her to. Hey, I fell off. He did a 180. He, he came up. So I opened the gate, he turned out, and he came towards me two jumps, yeah. and then he took a hard ride. Yeah. So that time, he kind of set you up, and then he took a hard ride. So I was ready for him ride. to go straight. I was like, yeah. I was like oh, okay. I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> but you're okay? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, okay, I'm good. Yeah. I should that probably take it on again. That was better, but it was like a, it was a little bit of a, a tougher trip. 100%. Like he took a he took a hard left, and then he took a hard right. Yeah. And he's fast. He's not he's not like a. I like the the thing I like about him for you is that he's he's not mean and he's small. He's small. So like whenever he kind of grazed to the side of your melon, it didn't hurt that bad. Not at all. Could have been worse. Still could have been bad, but it didn't. It wasn't. You know, like if the R. A. Brown bull what were if? to do that, it, it's a really heavy yeah, bull or yeah, frostbite. Yeah. So I like those two things about him, but he's really fast. And so if we were able to find something slower that you were, uh, where you could feel the timing a little more, because for your first and second bull, that's fast action. You know what I mean? Like for yeah. you to react to it, it's just all happening so fast. 
it'd be like your first varsity game in any sport, you know, like from JV to varsity, the difference, that's what that is. Like, it's just, yeah. so. I just need to be faster. It was turning to the left and I was like, not expecting it. Just a, that. just a little bit. Not, not, not too bad. So great job, everybody. Blythe just got on her first and second bull. You saw it here on the beaches. We're building champions. Yeah. We're going to go back to the barrel, back to Boone, yeah. work on it some more yeah. before you get on your third one. Especially these early rides, you really want to, you really want to put the work in between rides yeah. to progress. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Everybody done? Yes, done, done, done. Thank you for joining us out here on the beach of Winnebago. We're bucking stock around the clock and I mean, the clock has stopped for now. So we usually just get the clock going when we're out here. So we're going to stop the clock. We'll start it back whenever we, uh, right after Christmas, because Santa's coming. Everybody's going home for Christmas now. So nine interns, what we got here. We're going through a lot of people. Nine interns, what we got here. All right, guys. I'm going to the house, getting ready for Christmas. Pow, pow, and on to the next one. Thank you for watching this. It's rodeo time.